We can go ahead and start planting cabbage. Through service learning, students address real-world problems in their local communities by applying what they have learned in their science, math, and technology classes. What do you guys think? Service learning does not end when the community service project they work so hard to complete is finished. Some of the programs that we did um, through the year and if we should continue them or how we can make them better. And part of that will be journaling. So you'll need to write, you know, reflections in the journals and then you can use the back of these sheets to write group reflections on to present to each other. Teachers participating in the Green STEM at VCU service learning program know that their students need time and guidance back in the classroom to reflect on what they have learned out in the community. Making time for reflection is a critical part of service learning. Teachers who use service learning schedule time and plan activities that can help students think deeply about what they have accomplished through their community service project and how these accomplishments connect back to what they have been learning in their math, science, and technology classes. Reflection activities can be as simple as holding class discussions or writing journals, but often students choose to reflect through technology. They create videos, websites, blogs, blogs, and public service messages to demonstrate what they have learned. They're having a good time putting it together, and I think just the learning that goes into actually making them, because they have to do the research, and then all of the other stuff that's not actually part of the subject, but it's part of the background of, you know, making this blog or, you know, putting together a, a website or putting together a video is really important, too. So they're kind of neat skills they're learning as they're learning about topics. The idea that reflection is a critical component of learning stems from the work of heralded educator John Dewey. Dewey believed that learning is best accomplished through an ongoing cycle of action and reflection. By planning opportunities for reflection, service learning teachers create this important action reflection cycle for their students. A straightforward what, so what, now what model demonstrates Dewey's reflective learning process. First, teachers using service learning guide students to reflect on what they've accomplished through their community service project. Next, teachers ask students to consider the question, so what, why is their community service important? And how does it relate to what they have learned in the classroom? Finally, teachers encourage students to reflect on how they will use what they've learned in the future. Reflection is a huge part of service learning. And um, a lot of times in a traditional classroom setting, students are asked to memorize facts and regurgitate information. But we want students to go out and do these service activities and then think about the impact they had. What did I do? Why was it important? And now how is that going to inform the decisions that I make in the future? And when you add that to you know, learning those facts about science or math, it makes it so much more powerful and it turns you know, division or or learning about um, different things in science, chemistry, to something that is practical for them and they feel like they can use it. The classroom, the science classroom itself, I make them very aware of that, you know, whether it's through this project or just in the classroom itself, because they know that Mrs. Chambliss is going to recycle that paper and they know why. We talked about even in the project, we ran out of some things. Well, what can we recycle around us to use? Um, you know, so you know, those lessons I think will stay with them. We, we even talked about some of the uh, other projects that were going on around the school and why they were going on around the school and we're just one small part of it because we all have to work together. So I think whether we realize it, whether there were direct lessons or not, there were things that they learned about that and will take with them. Reflection can lead service learning students to consider how they want to use their new knowledge in the future. For some green STEM at VCU students, sharing what they have learned with other students became an important activity for the future. We're making a video about how much water that we use and we wanted to show it to the whole school because not many people like realize how much water we use and how much is available. So we're making a video showing them how much is used per person. I would want them to like realize that they need to cut down on like what they're using and to actually like whenever they do something to realize wow we're using a lot of water not many people can use as much water like third world countries don't use, use as much water and we're using all of it so like turning off the water when you brush your teeth or taking shorter showers and stuff like that like turning like washing your hands quickly 
like stuff like that so you don't waste as much water. I feel accomplished, I guess, so like people like will understand, like feel kind of important, the fact that we're actually doing this and people will actually like look at it and understand what we're saying. Green STEM at VCU is helping teachers create lasting impressions on students by reflecting on their work and relating it to the science, technology, engineering, and math they are learning in the classroom. Students are better able to take a step back and understand how the information they are learning is going to help them and their communities in the future. And when they make that connection when the light bulb goes off for these young people that if I pay attention and learn things in school, I can come out and use what I'm learning today. I don't have to wait till I'm a grown-up professional somewhere uh, in a distant future that I can't really imagine, but right now I can come home and talk to my family about um, our environment and what we can do right here in the house or what I can do on our street. Um, that's really empowering and they go back to class and get really excited that maybe I should pay attention, maybe I should learn how to do these math and science concepts because it's useful.